Hi guys and girls on YouTube and welcome to my channel. This is a really, really quick video for all you component level fault finders. So this 30 amp variable power supply belongs to a friend of mine, he's a radio amp and he said, uh, he's got, he's showing 12 volts on here uh, and the receiver's working alright but as soon as he keys up to transmit he said the voltage drops to next to nothing on there and his transceiver goes off. Uh, now I tried this and it worked absolutely fine, in fact I've had this for about 3 or 4 days now uh, and, and it seemed to work alright, I've made up this dummy load with a load of bulbs just so we can warm it up a bit uh, but then I started finding intermittently um, it goes into like a fold back current limiting where the voltage will drop to next to nothing um, now if you look at these 3 transistors on the back they're all in parallel and they're driven by this single transistor here so i'll check the base of this transistor uh, and under the fault conditions it drops to a couple of volts so you can forget looking on that board the fault's not on there and there's virtually next to nothing in it there's a little board there with a few bits on um, so the fault is definitely on that board there now one of the other things he did mention is a bit of a smell coming from this and that was easy to find uh, there's a gassed up capacitor there leaking electrolyte and that's where the smell's coming from so I changed that but I thought well that, that's not going to uh, affect the problem anyway you could have just left that out and it will still work I've changed that anyway uh, so back to this board so the first thing I find is this capacitor is totally open circuit is it 220 mic I can't remember now um, yeah 220 mics 25 volts probably just a local decoupling capacity for that IC which is a UPC 358C just an operation dual operational amplifier I think um, so I know the faults on here but it's intermittent I try tapping it I try warming it up I try cooling it down I can't make it go off but it still continues to drop the voltage intermittently like it's gone into fold back um, so what I've done is I've soldered every single joint on there uh, that made no difference so I've changed these two transistors here 2SC 2SC 1815 that made absolutely no difference soldered every single connection I know it's something on there and it's very very intermittent it can run for days on end and then suddenly it'll just drop out so let me show you what the problem was this is all you need to know it's that the preset that was in there was intermittent uh, so as you can see it's on the dummy load uh, it's working absolutely fine it's been running for quite a while now let me just show you the preset I took out so there we go that's a little preset it's 5k ohms uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, forget the wiper I'm just going to connect an ohm meter between each of the two ends as shown in that diagram there Right, that, so there we go, connected to a simple digital multimeter, uh, each end, just like in that diagram, let's turn on, bearing in mind this is a 5k ohm preset. Now look at that, the resistance is just changing at random, all on its own. So what we got there, 500 and odd K. But you can see that it's just completely changing the resistance on its own. And that is where the intermittent fault was coming from see it's now 270k 250 So there we go, you get an intermittent fault on something, don't forget the presets.
all right guys and girls on youtube i hope you found that useful uh, many thanks for watching my video and i'll catch you in the next one then goodbye